Today I'm going to be testing a microwave transformer. If you are unsure of how to remove a microwave transformer, please follow all safety suggestions. I have not gone over any of those in this video. Please be safe. When removing your transformer, there is the possibility of electrocution and people have been known to actually die. So if you are unsure of how to remove the transformer, please allow a professional to do this. Before you take your transformer out, it's going to be wise to mark all of your leads. Make sure you know where they're going um, before you remove your transformer so you know what gets connected back. Today I'm going to be showing you how to test a high voltage transformer such as the one right here. I'll be using my multimeter. If you look, you can see the coiling on these, the primary has got the thicker wire or the lower gauge wire so it's thicker than the secondary which is the high voltage. So what we're going to do, the first thing we'll do is we will test the resistance. So we're going to set our multimeter to 200 and I will touch both ends and we should get a reading of somewhere between a half and one and a half should be less than two. Here I'm getting 1.3, so that's good. The next thing we want to do is make sure that it's not shorting out to the block. So I'm going to turn mine all the way up. And what we'll have to do is find a spot on here because as you can see right here, nothing's happening. Um, this has a coating over it, so we have to find a spot. And typically on these, there's usually a mark just from taking it out um, on here. So here I found some bare metal. And you can see I can get a reading touching the sides here, so that's not coated there. So now I'm going to touch these terminals, and as you can see, when I'm touching the terminals, I'm not getting a reading, so it is not shorted out. So that check is good. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to come over here, and you can see in between, we can see these red wires. So we're going to test those, and we're going to test those the same way that we just tested the primary on the other side. So I'm going to set this, and I'm going to set it at 200. And then I'm going to come and touch these two terminals, and I should be getting that reading. So this one's coming in at 0 0.8, 0 0.7. So that's good. And then the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to turn this up to 200 or 2000 and I'm gonna find a spot so I can see when I'm doing this I can see on my multimeter that we're getting a reading so again I'm gonna stick a probe in here keep the other one on the block and I should not get any reading and I'm not getting a reading again I'm gonna make sure there we go and then I'm gonna do it to the other one as well and then I'm not getting a reading so that's telling me that this is not shorting out to the block. So last what we're going to do is we're going to test the high voltage and that's that little bit finer wire. It's usually here, it's on the top, you can see. Um, you can see that lead on this one, it's coming directly out of that winding. So what we're going to do to test this one is we're going to set our multimeter to the 200 ohm range and I should get a reading somewhere between, say, 80 and 120, 85, 120, somewhere in that range. So, again, I want to make sure. I'm going to test this to the body here. Try to find a spot. Okay, so right now I know, again, I'm getting a reading here. So I know that this is a bare spot. So this is going to run my lead directly to the body and not be interfered with by that coating. So, again, I'm going to touch this and... On this one, I'm getting a reading of 120, so that's just fitting in that range that I want. So this is a working transformer, and that's how you test your transformer. And this is how you test a microwave transformer using your multimeter. Please feel free to check out one of my other videos on testing microwave door latch switches, otherwise known as micro switches, or capacitors, or how to change your microwave door handle. Thank you for watching.